Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss top 10 design patterns, interview questions and answers. Let's begin. What are design patterns and why are they important? Design patterns are proven, reusable solutions to common software design problems. They are not code templates, but conceptual approaches that help developers solve recurring challenges such as object creation, communication, and structure. They improve code readability, flexibility, testability, and maintainability. By following patterns, teams reduce design errors, avoid reinventing solutions, and build systems that scale better. Design patterns are grouped into three categories. Creational patterns for object creation, structural patterns for object composition, and behavioral patterns for communication between objects. Interviewers expect you to highlight that patterns help build clean, extensible architectures and guide developers toward industry standard practices. Next, what is the singleton design pattern? When should it be used? The singleton pattern ensures that only one instance of a class exists and provides a global point of access to it. It is useful when the application needs exactly one shared object, such as a configuration manager, logging service, cache manager, or thread pool. Singleton is often implemented using a private constructor and a static instance getter. However, misuse can lead to tight coupling and testability issues. In multi-threaded environments, synchronization is needed to ensure thread safety. Interviewers want you to mention when it is appropriate, mainly when a single shared resource must coordinate system behavior. Next, what is the factory design pattern? Why is it useful? The factory pattern hides the object creation logic by delegating responsibility to dedicated factory classes or methods instead of directly calling constructors, clients request objects from a factory. This is useful when object creation is complex, depends on input, or when you want to decouple creation logic from business logic. It improves modularity, supports easy extension, and follows the open-closed principle. Interviewers expect you to explain that factory allows switching implementations without modifying client code. Next, what is the builder design pattern? When should it be used? The builder pattern is useful when creating complex objects that require multiple optional parameters or step-by-step -step construction. Instead of writing constructors with dozens of arguments, builder provides a fluent way to construct objects cleanly. It increases readability, avoids inconsistent object states, and separates object representation from construction logic. Interviewers may ask for practical examples such as building HTTP requests, constructing immutable objects, or creating entities with many optional fields. Next, what is the prototype design pattern? Prototype creates new objects by cloning existing ones rather than instantiating from scratch. This is beneficial when object creation is expensive, such as loading data from a database, parsing configurations, or initializing heavy objects. Prototype allows copying with modifications while preserving original structure. Interviewers want you to highlight that prototype reduces resource usage and improves performance in systems requiring many similar objects. Next, what is the adapter design pattern? Why is it used? The adapter pattern allows incompatible interfaces to work together. It acts as a wrapper between two classes, converting one interface into another. This is useful when integrating third-party libraries, legacy code or systems with mismatched APEs. Adapter avoids modifying existing code and makes incompatible components compatible through abstraction. Interviewers want you to demonstrate that Adapter supports backward compatibility and flexible system integration. Next, what is the decorator design pattern? Decorator adds functionalities dynamically to objects without modifying their structure. It wraps an object with additional behavior at runtime, allowing flexible feature extension. 
This pattern is helpful when you want to avoid subclass explosion. Instead of creating dozens of subclasses, decorators compose behavior by layering objects. Interviewers may ask you to explain decorators in real-world context such as adding logging, compression or authentication to service calls. Next question, what is the observer design pattern? Observer defines a one-to-many relationship between objects. So when one object changes state, all dependent objects get notified. It is widely used in event-driven systems, messaging, GUI applications and microservices. Whenever the subject changes, observers react automatically without tight coupling. Interviewers expect you to highlight that observer supports loose coupling and is ideal for asynchronous communication. Next question. What is the strategy design pattern? Strategy allows choosing an algorithm at runtime. Instead of writing multiple conditional blocks, each algorithm is encapsulated into its own class and the client selects which one to use dynamically. This pattern is useful for business rules, payment methods, sorting algorithms, discount policies and more. It promotes flexibility, clean code and adherence to the open-closed principle. Interviewers want to hear that strategy removes complex if-else logic and allows easy extension of new behaviors. Next question. What is the chain of responsibility pattern? Chain of responsibility allows multiple handlers to process a request one after another. Each handler decides whether to process the request or pass it along the chain. This is useful for validation pipelines, logging chains, authentication flows and event processing. It keeps components loosely coupled because handlers do not know about each other, they only know the next handler in the chain. Interviewers expect you to explain that the pattern enhances flexibility and allows adding or removing handlers without changing client code. So these are the few important interview questions and answers on design patterns.